News Channel 5 at 4. Welcome back this afternoon. A local woman changing the way addiction is treated in minority communities. According to the American Psychological Association, minorities are more likely to experience barriers that can then hurt their access to treatment. WPTV News Channel 5 Sabir Rayford shows you this afternoon this program is changing a lot of lives. For Herbert Williams, his story of addiction started at the age of 14. I started putting crack cocaine in the weed. And like anything else, uh, it's going to escalate. 50 years later, it only got worse. And that's when the wheels fell off. I lost a job after taking the drug test and having that job, a good job for nine years. At 64 years old, he's proud to be one year sober, an accomplishment he says wouldn't have been possible without taking care of his mental health. And where I come from, I mean, I come from the projects in New Orleans. We rarely talk about our problems. We, 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 we sit on things, and we accept it as normal when it's not normal. It can save your life. It can save your family. Tanya Young-Williams is a co-founder of Pivot Treatment and Wellness Center in Lake Park. She's dedicated her career to bridging the gap between addiction treatment and minority groups. Because of what I know about substance abuse, substance use disorder, is that it doesn't discriminate. Williams uses a 12-pillar program focusing on mental health and wellness to help recovering addicts stay sober. A lot of it is the lack of information. Part of it is the stigma. But at the end of the day, my goal is to understand that's real, but what can I do to be helpful? As a black man of my age, all I really want to do is to pay it forward. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Sabir Rayford, WP.